Hi again, everybody, and welcome to English in the Afternoon. In the previous four videos, we talked a lot about the different types of sentences that exist in English. In this video and the next one, we'll talk about common sentence mistakes. Here, we'll talk about sentence fragments. And in the next video, we'll talk about run-on sentences. Before we talk about sentence fragments, let's just review what a sentence is. This will make it easier to identify a sentence fragment. In technical terms, a sentence is called an independent clause. This just means that a complete sentence is able to stand by itself and that it has all the necessary parts within it. Although there are many different types of words in English, like adjectives, adverbs, pronouns, prepositions, etc., all that is really necessary in most cases is just a subject and a verb. In other words, who is the sentence about and what is that subject doing in the sentence? So a sentence can be even as something as simple as Dave ran. Dave is the subject, ran is the verb. Granted, most sentences are longer and more descriptive, but Dave ran is still a perfectly normal sentence. A sentence fragment happens when either the subject or the verb is missing from the sentence. For instance, going to watch a movie with Ben. Here, we don't have a subject. Who is going to watch a movie with Ben? We would need to say, I'm going to watch a movie with Ben, or Danny is going to watch a movie with Ben, or we are going to watch a movie with Ben. Although many sentences have a clear subject, which is almost always at the beginning of the sentence, there are times when the subject is not so clear. For example, it is common to have a sentence like this. There are three kinds of Dalmatian dogs. Here, the subject is not clear. It is not a name or a place or an object. It is just there. When we say there is, there are, there were, and so on, we are basically saying that something exists. The subject is implied in this case. So when you see a sentence like, there was a man from Reno who owned 12 cats, know that it is not a fragment, even though it does not have a clear subject. The sentence can also be missing a verb. For instance, the largest mall in Toronto now looking for security guards to work on the weekends. We have the subject, the largest mall in Toronto, but no verb. There should be is the verb to be right after the subject, as in the largest mall in Toronto is now looking for security guards to work on the weekends. Or this one. The two men who opened the restaurant, brothers from California. Here, it may appear that there is a verb opened, but that is actually just part of the adjective clause. In other words, who opened the restaurant just describes the brothers. The verb is still missing. The verb should be after restaurant, as in the two men who opened the restaurant are brothers from California. Another way we make sentence fragments is when we have only a dependent clause as a full sentence. As we know, a complete sentence, especially a complex sentence, consists of a dependent clause and a main clause. A main clause by itself is a complete sentence. There is no problem there. However, a dependent clause by itself is not a complete sentence. So if we have something like this, when I was a child growing up in Argentina, my greatest hero was Diego Maradona. When I was a child growing up in Argentina is the dependent clause. And my greatest hero was Diego Maradona is the main clause. So this part of the sentence can stand by itself. That's fine. But this part of the sentence cannot stand by itself. If we just wrote, when I was a child growing up in Argentina, it would be a sentence fragment. Same problem with the following sentences. Because I didn't know how to do the homework, or although there are many benefits to tea, or whenever Steph Curry scores five or more three-pointers. None of these sentences are correct. We would need to continue writing all three of them in order to make them correct. As in, because I didn't know how to do my homework, I couldn't finish it by myself. Or, although there are many benefits to tea, 
I still prefer coffee. Or whenever Steph Curry scores five or more three-pointers, the Warriors win. We also have to be careful with compound complex sentences, and especially sentences that have two dependent clauses. For example, after James takes out the garbage and after Samantha cleans the floor. This is still not a full sentence because there is still no main clause. What will happen after James takes out the garbage and Samantha cleans the floor? We will need to continue writing this sentence. After James takes out the garbage and after Samantha cleans the floor, we can go watch a movie. We can have many dependent clauses next to each other, but unless there is a main clause to complete the sentence, that sentence will be a fragment. Another version of this kind of fragment mistake happens when we give examples. For instance, it is common to see a sentence like this. The standard of living is usually the highest in Northern European countries. For example, Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Denmark. This first sentence is correct. The problem is here. This is not a complete sentence because it does not have a verb. Even if we begin a sentence with, for example, or for instance, we still need to make sure that it is a complete sentence, as in, for example, Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Denmark are the leaders in life satisfaction. We can even fix this mistake by making everything into one long sentence. For instance, the standard of living is usually the highest in Northern European countries like Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Denmark. In this case, however, we would need to delete, for example, or for instance. Okay, let's do some practice. The following 10 sentences are all fragments. Look at them carefully and fix each one. You can pause the video here. I'll give you a minute to complete the exercise. Number one. The tree at the top of the hill, not as big as the one in my backyard. This sentence does not have a verb. The tree at the top of the hill is not as big as the one in my backyard. Number two, if we drive to Chicago to see my cousin, have to promise me that you will not ask her about her vacation. There is no subject in this one. If we drive to Chicago to see my cousin, you have to promise me that you will not ask her about her vacation. Number three, when Jackie Chan jumps off a building, this is just a dependent clause. We need to continue writing. When Jackie Chan jumps off a building, he sometimes gets injured. Or if you want, you can say, Jackie Chan sometimes gets injured when he jumps off a building. Number four, Three of 10 airplanes that fly from Istanbul not have enough earphones for all passengers. This sentence is missing a verb. Three of 10 airplanes that fly from Istanbul do not have earphones for all passengers. Number five, going to see my friends in a few minutes. No subject here. I am going to see my friends in a few minutes. Number six, only when the Toronto Maple Leafs sign big names and only when other teams in the league become much weaker. Here we have two dependent clauses, but no main clause. We can fix the sentence in the following way. Only when the Toronto Maple Leafs sign big names and only when other teams in the league become much weaker can they expect to win the Stanley Cup. Number seven, Germany is not a huge country but it has some of the best known cars. For instance, Porsche, Mercedes-Benz, and the BMW. The second sentence is not complete. We could say something like this. For instance, Porsche, Mercedes-Benz, and the BMW are some examples of automotive perfection. Number eight, Gucci, Fendi, Versace, and Armani, all Italian brands. Here, there is no verb. Gucci, Fendi, Versace, and Armani are all Italian brands. Number nine, 
She promised me that if her brother got into a good school in the United States, there is no main clause. We would have to say, she promised me that if her brother got into a good school in the United States, she would pay for his tuition. And number 10, the phone company, a new phone because my old phone broke. Here, we don't have a verb. We should say, the phone company gave me a new phone because my old phone broke. Great work, people. The next video will be about run-on sentences, which is another very common sentence structure mistake.